And this, they could really be a, a nuisance for Manly here. Daily Cherry Evans, it all started round one, 2011, in Melbourne against the Storm. And here he is, 12 years later. And off we go from Wynn Stadium. And it's the Manly Seagulls with Matt Lodge. Second game here and now into the starting side and given some heavy treatment. The Manly side, they've lost eight in a row at this ground and they give the ball some early air as it comes to Tua Lungi. Nothing wrong with their attack last week against the Sharks. As Blocker mentioned, 30 points before Cronulla came roaring home. And this is uh, Tua Lungi with Lodge carting it up. He was good last week, Matt Lodge. First game off the bench, 138 metres. Lachlan Croker, game 100 for him. Let's not forget his milestone. 99th for Manly. One game for Canberra. Manly get through their first set. And plenty of depth on that kick as Matt Fionnay will bring it back. And we're on our way here. Manly on 23 competition points. Three points outside the eight. Newcastle certainly keep, keeping themselves in the race with their excellent performance in Canberra. But Manly, as you said, block their destiny very much in their own hands. DeBellin getting on to our mode and then turning it inside. All right. Billy Burns playing his fifth game this year. There was a, a change with Jack Bird not playing tonight, and of course Moses Mbai off to the Super League. So we'll have a, a young man on debut, Connor Mylison, and he uh, will make his first appearance shortly. Let's send it down to the sideline and say hello to Darcy McDonald. Good evening, Dan, Steve, and everyone tuning in. It was a little gloomy earlier at Wynn Stadium, but the weather gods have pulled through 18 degrees and barely any breeze. It's a special day for Manly's two milestone men, Daly Trey Evans and Lachlan Croker. There was a lovely touch from DCE earlier when he gave his training shirt to a Manly fan, just one of the many that have made the trip to Wynn Stadium to celebrate. Indeed, them. you couldn't wipe the smile off that lady's face, that's for sure. She's sitting in the southern grandstand here as Manly with Lodge. Counting it up. His fifth club now. And Cherry Evans, one of the, the best all time at the 40 20, just outside the 40 there. And Sloan effortlessly gets it beyond the 20. Yeah, they're going to have a good chase on him and kick early in the tackle count. Sloan, only slightly built, will get driven back and held up. But once he gets in the clear, geez, pretty to watch. Jacob Little has been the starting dummy half since Ryan Carr took over in round 12. Distributing here for Lomax. Little gets away from Jake Draboyevich, who wasn't marked square there. It's a handy run. Laurie getting it on. Armon keeping it going. Burns to the former Seagull, Suli. So good meters here from the Red V, and it's Hunt going deep with this one and into the corner. Garrick, he's a local from Jerongong. Yeah, it's been a good start from both sides, just uh, completing their sets, kicking long, trying to put the pressure on and get a little bit of field position from both teams. Some solid defence through the middle of the ruck so far. Looking forward to a real big challenge here. Now this is Christian Tuapalotu. Just two tries for him this year. Lodge again, He's certainly uh, rolling his sleeves up already his fourth run. The rest of the forwards have four combined. Now Jake Trebojevic. Their record when he plays, seven, four, and one. When he hasn't played, one and five. And now the deep one for Ravalawa, the leading try scorer. So going set for set early here. Gee, you've got to be so solid on him defensively. I don't know. I think I'll be kicking the other way. Oh, Cherry Evans raced up there, but Ramon couldn't do anything with it. But they'll get a penalty anyway. Manly offside. Well, the thing is, you can put that down to Ravalara with the run back from the kick. He just poked his nose through and made a few extra metres. A quick play the ball. And all of a sudden, Manly had to jump the gun. They get the penalty around about the halfway line, straight away in the attack. Let's see what they've got now. I'm really looking for Amon when he takes the line on. He's a strongly built young fella. I love it when he runs the ball. The Bella getting it on the hunt. The short pass.
Ross almost puts Dan Russell away. That's an important tackle from Schuster. Frank Molo barging it forward. Good signs from the Dragons here in these opening five minutes. The Bellin galloping into the line. Ramon shouting instructions. They've got a left side attack waiting here, but it comes in for Suli back in field. Oh, he got away there from Sipley. The grass cutter from Croker. Dragons, those six more tackles. Manly on their heels early. Laurie the dummy half. And now Molo, flat footed start. Contained to Alungi and Schuster there. And Little giving it to the running half. Now the balance for the line. Oh, stopped. Ola Kawatu first there. And then the save from Cherry Evans. Left again. Amon, dummies. Got past Croker. Oh, Cherry Evans. He does it for a second straight tackle. Little now gets it on. Laurie tries to back his way to the in goal. Manly holding on. And it goes to Amon. The double pop. That's beautiful. And it's, it's Frank Molo who scores the first try. Manly can't hold on any longer. Terrific start from the Dragons. Yeah, well, they made a couple of try savers there. Olakawato first. He was the man that made the tackle. Got back up in position. Then they went back up towards the post. And it was a great tackle by Cherry Evans, but they just can't hang on. That's a beautiful run by Molo to score the try. Under all sorts of pressure on the back of a penalty. Then they got a six again. They saved a couple of try-saving tackles here, but they just couldn't hang on, Manly. Molo straight through. Completions high for the Dragons to start this game. And they open the scoring. Sometimes, Block, you don't know with these teams that are out of contention what sort of energy they're going to bring, but... No such problems so far from St. George Illawarra. And a rare good start for the Dragons. In recent times, they would conceded first five of the last six games, but they're off and running here. And Lomax from next to the posts. Slight angle here. It's amazing when you get on the back of a penalty, then get six again. If you're any good... <laughs> You can generally make teams pay. They just can't hang on. The game's so quick. And that makes it six points to nil. St. George Illawarra over Manly. And some excited young fans nice and early here. They've got a very good record, the Dragons, at their, their real home grounds. Win and Cogra five and four. And that's just about perfect from them yeah. three from three make it five from five completions mainly three from three they didn't put a foot wrong the dragons yeah moan just held that ball up it looked like he was going to go out the back and then hit the front man which made the manly defense look on the outside there and that's a great start from the dragons Ravalawa was never going to pass that was he he was always going to crash it into parker and co the try scorer Molo. That's his ninth career try. Second this year. Here's a spread. And now space for Burns. And just holding on was Kola. Really energetic here is now DeBellin away. Molo forces it but finds Russell. Hunt. I'm on. So I'm just happy to take the tackle. And another set about to be completed. And Hunt. Plenty of height on this. No problem, though, for Garrick. Just had the slightest of bobbles, but now driven back by Burns. Boy, they're up for this, the Dragons. Now to a Pilotto. Manly 23 competition points. Might have to win five of their last six to get to 33, which that surely would get them in. 31 would be touch and go. And Kowatu, wonderful last week against Cronulla. Lodge again. Now 
and Cherry Evans. Plenty of distance on this. Matt Fiena bringing it back. He's a good defender. Always first man down. Lachlan Craker playing in his 100th game at the dummy out position. But what a defender he is. Just cleans it up nicely. Always the first man down. And a milestone for him this evening. There's Ramalawa. Ease to the ground. Little, again, when he's invited to run out of dummy half, he'll, he'll take that offer up. And the sharp play the ball. And that, that gave Sloan a sniff. No set restart there. Mark is deemed to be square. And from halfway, it's hard. Now, Manly have got a rule. A couple of big units in Sipley and Lodge, too. In the middle of the ruck. That just keeps inviting Little to run the football. They're a little bit slow. And he's taken off early in this game. Look at the markers. Unlucky not to get a penalty there, the Saints. There's been 11 runs from forwards for Manly. Five of them, Matt Lodge. To a Pilotu, bashing it up. He's playing for his future, Matt Lodge, and he's, he's not going to let the opportunity slip in terms of production, it seems. Oh, Sully puts one into Garrick. Jake Jaboyevich. Neat pass. Almost puts his man away. That was Sipley on the edge there, and now clutching at the at the lower right leg. And Fiene takes it, but has nowhere to go. Yeah, they've decided to kick on the other side there to Fiene. The last two kicks have gone his way. They worked out that Ravalawa. Here's that hit again down in the box over the top. Surly making his presence felt. When he connects, Surly, he connects. He's hard. Dan Russell playing his third game, 27 years of age. And again, charging. And yet again, a perfect set. This will be eight from eight. That's from inside the 40 from Hunt. No problem though for Saab, the former Dragon. It all started for him at the Red V. Played seven games before making the move to the Peninsula. Yeah, they've done well to keep Manly in their own half, haven't they? You have a look at the opposition 20. They've only been down there once. And that's the problem at the moment. They've got to find some way to get up the other end. They've got to win a penalty to get in that attacking zone. Yeah, there's that stat confirming what you were talking about, Block. Two tackles beyond halfway. Lodge again, this time the offload. Cherry Evans sending it on. Ola Kowatu sizing it up. Well handled by Burns. The help there from Armon as well. Garrick scooting down the right side. Oh, and then the wild pass. And there's the mistake. The pressure finally tells. Dragon's ball about 15 from halfway. I think the idea was right. The execution. He just folded around to that blind side late. Garrick tried to go to the cutout pass here. Cherry Evans perfectly timed, but gee, the cutout pass was the one needed. Fine for the Dragons. The left winger was in field. Would have been hard to chase down there, Saab. Just execution not there. Not a bad crowd on this uh, Saturday night. Why wouldn't you want to come here? Beautiful conditions. Lomax. Fell 29 runs his last outing. As Ravalawa slips into that tackle. Well, this is a real test here for Manly. Already conceded one, and now Molo dealt with quickly. The villain linking up with Laurie. Flying in there was Olokowatu. Over the top, Sipley. Good signs that he's shaken off that lower leg situation. But six more tackles coming. Second set restart given away by Manley. And Laurie just happy to march it up to the 20. Hunt. I'm on. Dumping it almost through. Talungi just got a little piece of him. Debellin at first receiver. Had Hunt on his outside. Goes inside. It looked like Frank Molo wrapped up. Was now little. Amon. Up. Double pop. Sloan gets it on. Suli can see the line. Suli. He got there, but they got under him.
Great scramble. Kohler underneath. Croker up top with Cherry Evans. Last tackle. Hunt. That's going to land in the end. Goal, Lomax. Batted away. Well, they're throwing a fair bit here, the Dragons, at Manly. Well, Manly's left-hand defence and two Alungi and also Schuster. You have a look, they work in and they go straight back at them. That's where they got the first try. He's so good under the high ball, isn't he? Lomax. Parker does well to knock it dead in goal. So throwing a fair bit at the... You're saying it's come off Lomax here. Yeah, and this happens so often, that's a big escape for Manly. Daly! Wait, Daly! And that's really uh, the first break they've had. Come on. What well, must be encouraging for Dragons fans that they've really laid on this platform and, and Ben Hunt hasn't played a dominant role at all. A very solid team effort. Oh, penalty. There it is. So 15 minutes of dominance and maybe just a momentum swing here in Wollongong. If you have a look at that there with the tackle, Cabellum was involved with Laurie. I think you'll find that the Manly player was trying to get to his feet. Just had the hand on the ball, under the ball. That's a get dead giveaway. Is their first penalty. So they had a grand total of three tackles inside Dragons territory. This is four. Their first chance to put any sort of pressure on. Lodge catch and pass. Schuster! He tries to connect with Parker and the ball goes loose. And that raid lasts two tackles. You know, I reckon everyone's awake, awakened to the no-look pass now. Now he's going to try and hit the front man. You've got to mix it up a little bit. Parker just a little bit flat that time. Looks like they're going to go out the back there to Garrick. Yeah, they've made some mistakes too, haven't they? Just trying to play a little bit of catch up early in the game. Yeah, they threw one into touch not all that long ago, so. Slow start for them. Anthony Seabold. Looks like a concerned look on his face. Only six the margin, though. Molo with his eighth run. Now DeBella skipping into it. Now it goes to Hunt. The floater for Ravalawa. Body skittle in back play. Ravalawa slips. I think he might have to change his sprints at half time. He's probably got those rubber soles on. He slipped over twice. And here's Russell. Well, they look good, the boots. Wouldn't be so effective though as now Hunt sees something he likes in front of him. But then the wayward pass. Penalty here for offside. Jake. Jake, that's already two and you're not good enough. It's got to get better. So Chris Butler laying down the law. Yeah, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, they're getting beat around the middle of the ruck at the moment. So kick at goal coming here for Lomax. Would have been a bit of uh, experience there for Ben Hunt running at offside players. Yeah, we'll take it All the context. You want to swap jobs? Let's have a look at him. Like hanging on to the boys. Yeah. Let's go. Who's kicking him? Who else has got advice him? from the track? Exactly, Dan. I was just about to say there's been eight blokes in the face of the referee. It's all very friendly, shoot. though. It's all very friendly, though. He seemed yeah. to yeah. enjoy Chris Butler. He seemed to like the conversation. Hey, mate, that's called buttering up the referee. Especially on your home ground. If anyone knows how to get on with a referee, it's Stephen Roach. That's it. Butter them up, son. <laughs> so this uh, now is about to be an 8 nil, 8 nil lead for the Dragons. One straight through. So just uh, some issues here early for Manly. The good thing about the Dragons, they've played some football, but they're 11 from 11. Mm. You wouldn't think that they're down the ladder in 15th position. The coach would be wondering, where's this been all year? Great start from the Dragons. Indeed. Only once this year have the Dragons lost after leading by eight or more themselves in a very nice position. A lot of football to be played here though on this Super Saturday. Penrith Cronulla 
coming up after this. A huge test for the Sharks after their recent woes. Penrith looking awesome, particularly in that first half last week against the Dogs. Now Frank Molo again. Bellin for Ramon. Sloan, just a hint of space there. Go back and do that again. Laurie, straight into Croker. Deep one from Hunt. Oh, he's kicked that perfectly. And Saab just over the 10, using all the strength he has. Yeah, it looks like they've pinpointed Saab to kick the ball to. Doesn't have any real opportunity yet, except for that drop ball when they went up the short side. A couple of replacements now for the Manly side. Try and get a little bit of energy in the. Well, this is important here that the. Precious few opportunities they've had. They've coughed up the ball early, but now the ball into touch. Sean Kepi and Ethan Bullimore about to come in. Well, Kepi allowed that little bit of starch defensively around the middle. They're getting carved up at the moment. It comes with all the completions. Manly side have had to do a lot of tackling. Oh, big powerful run there. Russell sent backpedaling by Lodge. It's Jerry Evans on to Schuster. Gets it on to Kohler. Delays the pass and sends Saab down the sideline. Saab gets it back in field. That's a wonderful manly try. Tolu Kohler has scored. And Manly get a much needed boost. Oh, that's terrific rugby league. Yeah, on the back of a penalty to Saab. I thought I was wondering why he didn't try and cut back in field. But he found the pass in Kohler. He scores. Here's the Lodge run again. Just gets bounced back there. Daniel Russell it was, but here's some silky play. They fancy themselves down here. Saab with the pass back on the inside. I'll tell you what he did do there. Tyron Sloan, not a great defender. Not that powerful. Learning his trade. Not a big man. He took him on. But I'll take you on. I'll be able to beat you here. Here's the tackle here. I'll be able to stand in the tackle, get the ball back on the inside. And Cola, what a try for Manly. They've been under the pump, and they finally get one. 8-4. And that was all started from that Matt Lodge run. He is uh, certainly, surely impressing people at the Seagulls. His first couple of weeks here, but Tolu Cola, fifth try this year. I think they do their homework players now. You have a look at Saab, just look up and see Sloan coming across. I'll be able to bump out of his tackle here. I hope he tries to take me on. He tried. He got the offload back on the inside. And that might be what Manly needed. Kickstart this, this first half. They've been under the pump. And they've finally scored. Had a couple of tries this last week too, Jason Saab. We know him primarily as a try finisher, but there's a very neat pass there. Ruben Garrett. 78% this year. Three from six last week, but he was kicking it with a gale to contend with. Much better conditions tonight, and he drills it. And Manly right back in this contest. Eight points to six. Darcy McDonald, down to you. Well, that's more like it, Manly. And that's now tries in back-to-back -back games for Tolu Kola. The softly spoken centre has been in Manly's system since he was 15 years old and has long been regarded a very special talent. We know he caught the attention of Rugby Union, but re-signed with the Sea Eagles last month on a three-year deal because, as he said, this club feels like home. Kola admitted he hasn't completely ruled out a code switch in the future, but for now, he is solely focused on Manly, so that's a great result for the Sea Eagles. Yeah, thank you, Darcy. Well said. And it seems like he's been around a little while. Now he's not yet 21. Turns 21 in September. So the future certainly seems bright there. Kepi now with his first run. And Jake Draboyevic following up. And Jake unhappy, thought that was worthy of a penalty. He's being held down. And here's a kick from inside the 40. Look at him chasing. 
and well done by Lomax to haul that in. And now, Gary Evans takes a, a flip. Oh, there's Ravalawa, heavy treatment. That was Jake Trebojevic, of course it was. And for tackle there with Lodge helping him now. Matt Fiennay. Nearly seemed to have gone up a cog here. And this is Michael Molo. Billy Burns. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a gift, really, on the fifth play. Kempi gives that away. He just gets wrong-footed there, Kempi, just but on the field, trying to make a little bit of a difference. Got wrong-footed. Throws out the arm with the footwork at the line. That's a lazy arm, too. Got to come away with something a little bit better than that when you get yourself back into the game. Field position now, strong for the Saints again. Early ball movement here on this first play. Sloan taking on Parker. Parker with the tackle. Lomax. Geez, there's some big yards out of dummy half, isn't it? For all their back five. And he comes across for Armon. Seen plenty of it early. Sully. Got past Cola. Cherry Evans had to make that tackle. Dragons rolling. Little short side. Burns. Closing in. Ball comes free. Penalty. Two and one strip. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we do see a stripping action. Cherry Evans, always second man in the tackle. He's got a great ability of throwing blokes over his hip. Now, I don't know whether he's going to challenge this. Oddford ruling is a two-on-one strip. He does it a lot, Cherry Evans. You watch the way he defends. He's got that little bit of a Ray Price Cumberland throw. He did it on Suley only a couple of seconds ago. That's high praise. Here we go, so one-on-one -on -one at the moment. Cola with his arm on the ball. Oh, yeah. Tolu Kula strips the ball out in a one-on-one -on -one tackle. Just got to see which direction the ball goes. Who dies on the footy here? If it goes back... Oh, he's rip oh geez, this is, this is a test here for, for the bunker. Well, he's pulled it towards him, and he's... Strip is backwards from Tolu Kula. Okay. Now just needs to look at the action from Billy Burns. I reckon Burns is knocked on here. You watch when he puts his hand on the ball. He doesn't really grip it. You watch. The ball's on the ground now. Here he is, trying to pick it up. And look. Yeah, that's a knock on. This is going to be a win for Manly, it would seem. Casey Badger, the voice you're hearing in the you bunker. You can see Billy Burns touches the ball again after it comes out. It's a knock on. Which he does. And he knocks the ball on. Great the challenge. challenge. Is successful. Very good challenge from Manly. You know what? That's the first thing that's gone their way in this game so far. Uh, that is oh, the no, first no, incomplete yeah, set. It wrong, it's going to be a scrum. Where do you want it? Yeah, ball? Yeah. That is the first incomplete hey. set. 25 minutes in. Good game, miss. Good energy. And St. George Lawara, highly competitive. They got themselves off to a great start, didn't they? 11 from 11. Only have won the challenge there. Jerry Evans will get the football back. Just try and muscle up here, the Dragons. They've defended well so far to start the game. They try and keep Manly in, the, in their own half here. Schuster looks poised and he gets it. And a penalty. So now the Dragons just starting to bleed penalties here. I love the look of the player's face when you see the close-up. Who, me? Was it? You can't be serious. So we're off and running. The two balls on the field. To a lungy, gets him over half wide. Ethan Bullimore. The, the touch, he was a metre away from that ball and uh, just <laughs> left it there. All right, comes across now. Jerry Evans. She'll start threatening to pass. Goes through. Pass Burns. Comes to the fullback Sloan. And six more tackles. Manly. Chance to take the lead. Croker from dummy half. Jerry Evans. Garrick. Kohler. Two on two. And the tackle. Suli with the help of Fiennay. 
Now to the other side is Croker for Kepi. Oh, ball comes free. And Manly there coughed that one up. That's a couple of errors there from Kepi. First he gave away the penalty. Now the drop ball, the shake of the head. It's great to see Schuster run the ball there. He made 20 metres up ground. Interesting to see how long it takes him before he runs again. That's the big knock on him, the back-to-back -back plays. We know how talented he is, but he needs to get himself involved. So Michael Molo to Ben Hunt. And it goes to a fellow tower moan. Surely holds on to it after almost running through Kohler. Now this is the impressive Toby Couchman. Making a real good fist of it in his first year of first grade. Amon, extravagant kick, not played at. So the rebound for the Dragons, but this still tackle five. We'll get one more chance with it. Now it comes to Hunt, looking inside, throwing outside, and that bisects Lomax, a very cranky Lomax, and Ravalawa. To be filthy on himself there, Hunt. They had Manly in sixes and sevens. They had the numbers. Here's the ricochet. She did well. Cherry Evans not to play that ball there. Indeed. And that, that replay would indicate it was the right decision. It will also indicate he was millimetres from being in a world of pain. You saw the stat there. Still dominant, the Dragons, in terms of fuel position. Cherry Evans. Bring it on for Cola. With Olakowatu, imposing run. Kroka distributing. Jake Trebojevic. Happy to just run it into Couchman. Last tackle. Now Cherry Evans kicking the belly. Probably won't be easy there, sir. Fede leaves it behind him, but the backstop, Tyrell Sloan, puts himself in the right position. What about the pick up there from Sloan? They got the short side. The ball knocked backwards there by Fiennay, and Sloan right on the, right on the spot that's cleaned it up. Ooh. The great pick up. Good contact there on Fiennay. Another run from Little. Really. What's this for skill? Yeah. And now we've got a penalty going to Manly. No, no, no. To change your possession. So the Dragons have made a mess of this. I reckon they know they've got him under the pump here. Cherry Evans knows the Saints are a little bit tired. And now Kepi. A rare venture inside the Dragons 20, Ethan Bullimore. Didn't play last week, Ethan, but back in the side tonight. Comes to Cherry Evans. The delayed pass, Schuster. Dumping it off here. Oh, Olakowatu, yes. Olakowatu was never going to be stopped from close range. Manly take the lead. Do you have a look at the ball playing there as Schuster just slows down then? Takes off a little bit. Turns it back on the inside. Set play here. Overchased. Legs tackle. Sloan can't make the tackle. Olakawatu in for try number eight of the season. It's he's, a, he's imposing, it, isn't he? It's an awesome side. When he gets going near the line, who is going to stop him? Just a change of angle. That one man overchased to see the replay to see who it is. But you feel for Sloan there. What's he going to do? The man mountain Olakawatu. The damage was done before it got to him. And uh, no celebration. Cool. Come on, man. We've... This is the last week of Try July. We saw some beauties down in Canberra. The Newcastle boys really ripped in. And Amole might end up being top try scorer at Manly in 2023. The best one was from Dom Young when he scored and disallowed. He ran into the post and slam dunked it. Tamana Tahu style, which would have tied him with Tamana as greatest uh, amount of tries, I think, for Newcastle in a season. But not to be, but the Kalen Ponga barbershop. That was a beauty too. Now, 
Garrick. Same side as his first kick. And same result. Delightful strike. So Manly absorbed a fair bit early, and now they lead 12 points to eight. And that's the challenge for these sides out of business, isn't it, Block? The Jacob Little comes off. They started fast, but to maintain the rage. And we saw... Yeah, it was Billy Burns at over chase there, which just opened up the inside. Set play there from the Manly side. Gee, they've got a good combination. Schuster, Olakawatu. Yeah, we saw Cole sort score on that side, and then Olakawatu. Similar spot. And Manly here with eight and a half to go in the first half. Now they're in their groove after being tested early. Look at one, two there. Birds is getting off in time. Jake Jaboyevich, Bullimore waiting either to receive or to be the decoy. Bullimore. Slip past Burns and DeBellin holding on with the help of Michael Molo. Bully Moore's really come on and, and made a difference too athletically. Oh, Croker threatening to go through. So we've got the man on debut, Connor Melison into the game. We'll get a look at him shortly. And this is Sloan. With nowhere to go. You see Holokawatu try and go for the steal there, the one-on-one on ste one -on -one steal from Sloan, but the young fella hang on well. Oh, Moan jumping into dummy half as Lomax goes down the middle. Here he is, the Steelers junior, 22 years of age in 14. Connor Molison. Great that he gets to make his debut here at home. Goes out now to Hunt from inside the 40. I'm just happy to go down the middle here. And Saab goes all the way back to his try line. Let's go to you, Darcy. A little bit of uh, update and information around that change at Hooker for the Dragons. Jacob Little has come off for a HIA. It's been deemed that he uh, displayed Category 2 symptoms and the debutant Colin Melison has slotted in at dummy half as a specialist number nine, so handy to have him on the bench. Thank you, Darcy. So, probably a little earlier than he would have been expecting the young man. And now it's Tuipalotu. The first thing we'll be watching from the young fella there is see how he tackles around the middle here. Always a difficult assignment when you make your debut. Find out how big and powerful the opposition is. I imagine they'll test him at some point. And, and the point will be, will be soon. And Fiona lumbering back here. I'm just happy to work it towards the middle. So two tries to one. Frank Molo first to score. Manly with Cola and then Olakawatu. It's remarkable that Manly have not won here in 20 years. Now, of course, they don't play here every year, but eight losses in between there's been some damn good man sides in that period but uh, this is one of those bogey grounds now it's to Bella. on the hunt the double pump oh beats them all lomax scurries oh then puts a move on puts a move on to a Pilotto, but then to he grabs him and almost takes him into touch he's a couple of times in the first half that hunters try to go up that right hand side obviously they think there's a weakness here but the execution hasn't been there some poor passes from Hunt. The Saints captain. There's uh, Cola. Still very much there for Manly in terms of top eight. Oh, hello. There's a, 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 an error from Garrick. And now the Dragons with a... a, a Lovely opportunity. Been down here for a little while. So Michael Molo in his second year of, of NRL. He's the man that plays it. A moan. He wanted to get it on, but saw Cherry Evans up in his face. 
And Larson. The Balaam. Patient here, the Dragons. Now a mode. Getting it on to Burns. It's opened up. Burns. Oh, he did not give it on to Fiene. And a terrific tackle from Cola. Two tackles left. Suli gets it on. Amon sizing it up. The right footstep. Malaisen! Oh, he had visions of getting there on debut. One tackle left. Amon kicking it straight into the manly player, Croker. And not played it. Hunt. Just settling things down. Burns again. Oh, he can't get by Olakawatu. And now that is a that is a new set there. The late call from the referee. As it comes across, that's confused everyone. Molo now. A license. Mo. Double cut out. Hunt. Slow. Manley's defense up to the challenge. And yet again, set restart. With the Bellin. Inside the 10. Melison. Hunt short side. Sees all of those defenders waiting out near the wing. So the ball back in for Sloan. Hunt again. Couchman. A lot of settlers here. Couchman buried by Kepi. Two plays left. Here's Hunt. On for our moan. To the front man, Suli. And they're all over him. Cherry Evans down low and Olakawatu up top. The final play. It's our moan. Placing that kick on the line. Oh, Parker untouched. And Manly there. That's a big tick for their defence. Yeah, I think you got a knock on the head there too. Put his body on the line, Parker. Just see how early he read that kick. He yells out, that's mine. It's a good play. Big play from Parker. The poor execution from the Dragons. They didn't throw anything at Manly that time. They got a couple of repeat sets. Couldn't come away with anything. 19 tackles in the 20. The score line. They should be ticking over the score, the scoreboard. Oh, Manly here getting expensive. Gary finds Saar. Saar puts the foot down. He's now got the full back in front of him. Beautiful swerve there, but Sloan just does enough to stop the progress of Saar. 30 metres out. But we go all the way back. Now, have we got the play for a player being in front when the play started? Do you know it? Well, Daly Cherry Evans asking the referee, what's the penalty count? Yeah, what is it, Dan? Let's have a look. Well, I, I, I think it's closer than Daly thinks. It was 4-3 before Wait, that, Manley's way. So the Dragons Wait. here. Okay, so it's an obstruction of the defender is the penalty. I hope they throw something at him in this set. Well, it's going to have to come in these six tackles. A repeat is, is useless. Big minute this. Malaisen for Hunt. Gramo. Skipping and passing and slowing with the touch. Now Fiennay. Manly there in numbers. Ramon feeding it on to Bellin. Oh boy. Tap back but there's... There's a knock-on scene there. Knock Hunt on. and Sloan pinballing off each other. Middle. Shot clock, son. And a little uninspired, that. Yeah, there's no fluency in the right-hand side there with the attack. Then Hunt now again with another error. A couple of wayward passes in the first half, and now the knock-on. Vic, let's go. So frustration for Ben Hunt. It's down. Shot clock off. It's down. You can almost say it's half glass full or glass half full for the Dragons in that Ben Hunt hasn't been his best and they're only down by four. So let's just stick with this because Chris Butler's going to chat with the Manly captain. Tansy, question down here. You've had three rough penalties, one down here against you. But your problem is down here, Jake's given away two on the ten, plus you've given some real deliberate ones down there. So you fix that bit up for me and I'll worry about this bit down here, OK? Yeah? Anything else? Come have a chat, all right? Well, no argument there. Thank That's you, sir. 
Very nicely explained by Chris Butler. Three bags full, sir. And uh, that ends an energetic first half. Manly leading 12 points to eight. Things looking okay for the Seagulls, but they were certainly tested early. Yeah, they certainly were. But I, look, I think that the Seagulls have got a lot more strike. If they get in that attacking zone, I think they can score plenty more points. The worry for the Saints, they've had plenty of ball, and it's really been Ben Hunt trying to execute on that right-hand side. Just a lot of drop ball from the Saints. Had ample opportunity to tick over the scoreboard. Manly, I think, are going to be hard to beat here. So Manly with an 8-2 record when they lead at the break. That was the sight we saw moments ago of Jacob Little passing his uh, concussion protocol test. So a little taste of first grade for the youngster. Connor Malison, but now Little back in the dummy half roll. Yeah, not a good sign for Ravalawa there. He was the first man to take the kick off. And he has hobbled back out to the right wing for the Saints. Doesn't look real good at the moment. That's DeBellin. Hello to all of you watching on beautiful 4K. Coming up, Penrith Cronulla live and ad break free. And it'll be Chockers there. We were there last week at, at Blue Bet Stadium. And uh, it's just about a full house every time they play the Panthers. And why not? Now, here's Saab. So, first set complete. Oh, slipping a pass. That's lovely. Then the pass on the inside away to Tolu Kola. Then he gets it away to Garrick. And Manly score. First chance in this second half. And Manly are away. They get their third. We're talking about the amount of strike that these guys have got just a little bit earlier. Schuster with a magic pass. Not many blokes in the NRL can come away with this or have the courage to pass the football here like this. They come on the left-hand side. Look at that for a pass. Unbelievable. But have a look at the Manly support lining up. Look at the number of jerseys there. And once he got the football, Reuben Garrick, she's all over. That's his eighth try of the season. Reuben Garrick over. Look at that for a pass. That is magic. When it works, there's no better sight. And that was a tidy pass back in field from the winger to a Pilotto. But Reuben Garrick, he'll love this. He'll love this. He's a local... And uh, he's from Gerringong, of course. There you go. That's 5K more. Well done. All, all the players who uh, have really, really taken this on. The try July and the great cause for Nathan Stapleton and, and Daniel Anderson. And what's been great block is no one's taken offence. Uh, no one has come out and said it's insulting. Everyone's taken it in the spirit that's been intended, and it's it's been a perfect promotion. And it ends this weekend, July coming to a close, but I think we might see a few more celebrations between now and tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, when I mean, you have a look at the players like Gary and, and Schuster, Daly Cherry Evans, the experience, once they get an advantage, that's a great time to score too. And then at half time, 12, 12 points to eight. And they score early in the second half. Let's go to Darcy McDonald as we watch another replay of this outstanding Seagulls try. Well, that was a big try and a big moment for Manly to get on the board first in the second half. I can tell you, Dragons interim coach Ryan Carr won't be happy with that. They spoke about last week keeping their opposition to nil in the second half, and they stressed if they did that again today, they'd be able to get the win. He also spoke about cleaning up discipline in yardage. Now, as for Manly, Anthony Seabold put a big emphasis on getting better field position and said they need to trust their defence structures. Thank you, Das. Uh, Manly, one of the best teams in the Premiership at long-range tries. We've seen so much of it over the last few years, primarily involving Tom Trebojevic, but they've got plenty of strike, and here we go again. It's, it's Parker. Cut down this time. Now, more conventional through Bullimore. Trebojevic working. Oh, penalty on tackle. Five. Yeah, your side as well. Yeah, that is a killer. Yeah, it certainly is. Off the back of points, Manly straight away on the attack. They struggle to get in the attacking zone from 20 to 30 metres out. About 25 out now. It's a perfect opportunity to go back to back here in the second half. 
And the Bullimore just outside the 20. Remember they trailed 8 0. And Kepi driven back. Jerry Evans, a bit of subtlety from DCE. Oh, and an offload finds Olakawatu. He's already scored one. Hard to put away. And Ramon locking up the arm with the ball. Schuster. Going himself and sneaking inside the 10 with two plays left here for Manley. Deep left here set, but they come back to the middle. Bullimore. And that will leave them with one more play. We're yet to see a line drop out in this contest. Schuster. Cherry Evans. Oh, Falcon. That's a live ball. But that has actually hurt Cola. He gets up and now Lomax comes away with it. Mm. Well, that's just bizarre. Gee, you want to hope it hasn't hit him on the beak. That'll break your nose. It hit him that hard. He was shaken up by it. Off. And now it comes here to Frank Mola. He just might have had the watery eyes for a few seconds. Just be thankful they're not that those old leather footballs that took in all the water. And if, if it was wet too, whoa, like a brick. He's a slide, sliding through. There are a chance here. Lomax on the inside. Lomax forces the pass and Ravalawa puts it down. Gee, they're lucky to hang on there at the Manly side. Ooh, Parker. And, and that chair on the ground suggests he may have taken it out there. Looked like a bit of a cut on his uh, knee. Not sure if that is to do with what just happened there. Lomax up with a crook left shoulder too. Sloan just is elegant when he gets going. He's, here we go. Sloan looked like he grabbed a piece of Parker as they took. Uh... Gee, if that was clean ball, the Ravalara there, yeah. he would have scored. Geez, that's uh, that's unpadded that fence area, and, and you got the chair in the way as well. So probably fortunate thing that both come away and, and continue on here, and no real damage done. Come to a lungy. Returned a few weeks ago had a nasty facial fracture. First year here at Manly after his. Career began at the West's Tigers. Jake Jaboyevich for Cherry Evans. Here's Garrick. Seems to be everywhere at the moment, Ruben Garrick. Oh, Kawatu. It's his 10th run. Now the most by any forward from the Manly side. Cherry Evans puts it on the chest of Saab and he's away there. It's going up as no try, but Manly think they're a chance. No try because I believe he loses it into a dragon. Well, if he strips the ball out there, one of the Saints players, and it goes backwards, Manly dive on it. So there's a few things to look at here. Was it a knock on? Was there someone taken when they shouldn't have been? This is a remarkable tackle. Garrick looked home. Is that Burns around and the legs? Here? Indeed, is it? it is. So We're not touch. Lachlan Croker is tackled prior to taking possession of the ball. Oh, it's close. Now, if the tackle's legal, then we see if he holds on to it. Well, did he rip the ball out over the top here? Little, if he does. Well, that looks okay, that tackle, doesn't it, Block? Yeah. Contact is made simultaneously. Yeah. We're playing on at this point. Just looking to see if Lachlan Croker maintains possession of the ball. Well, he's done a lot at this point, so then we go to... No. Nah, and that's going to be a knock on, it would seem. Garrick only a metre out. He, he was probably stunned by the tackle, but possibly could have walked that in. And Lachlan Croker knocks on in the end. Well, that's a great decision. save from the Dragons. Well, Garrick's saying it's going back. Look, he's still complaining. And you're not going to win those ones, and that's the end of that. I thought he was going to score for your life there, Garrick. 
Geez, they're looking good though. That was a peach of a pass from Cherry Evans. Yeah, beautiful. Up the short side again. Got it for numbers. Got the speed. That's what the Manly side, their outside backs are so quick. through five line breaks now for Manly. So those numbers are rising fast. And Michael Molo wrapped up on tackle number two. Another Frank. Dragons try came to that man Frank Molo in the seventh minute. But here's DeBellin breaking away. Or oh, Sloan was waiting on the inside, but DeBellin couldn't get it on. Now Little with room. Amone keeps it going. Hunt on the slow. Chance. But Schuster closes that down. One play left. Hunt, short side. The kick. It's trapped. It's taken here. Then they're claiming a try. They're claiming a try here. It's Daniel Russell. Hey, Dan Russell has got over, but has he got it down the cleanly? They think he has. Well, he's pretty confident. He's got no try, the referee. He might have, we might have another first try score in the NRL this weekend. It's Hunt there that gets it right up the short side on the all last tackle. The grabber kick, they're all on side. Jake Javoyevich plays at the ball. So this is live. Russell gets a boot to it, scoops it up. Dan Russell takes clean possession of the ball. So. Now I just need to see if he ever gets it down. Ooh. Now it's gone up as no try, remember. Possession. So they're going to need evidence to suggest he's got this down. Is that Parker underneath there? It is Parker. Now you could argue he's got that down. Just looking at all available angles to see if the ball gets to How down. confident are they that they can give this a try? Well, I don't reckon that angle will tell us anyway. It looks like he's held up on that angle here. Need a bit of lucky, the Dragons, with the camera angles. And... Oh, jeez. The ball's still up there. Oh, I reckon he's got that block, but will they give it? We've got no try. Yeah, that's... The ball does get to the ground. We're just looking to see if that's over the goal line or not. Well, okay, so we've now got a different quirk. So the grounding is okay. He's over the line there. I reckon he gets it. Look. Yeah, he's over the line. Surely. Come on, it's the kids' first try. Come on, turn it around. Let's make a game of it. Dan Russell is definitely over the goal line. We're just looking at the screen on the right. Well, this is like... This is like Johnny Bairstow taking the bails off before he had the ball. Well, hang on. So he's over the line and he's got it down. Well, he's over the line and got it down. It's a try, isn't it? Based on all available camera angles, we'll be supporting oh the decision. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come up. on. We have a decision. So he got it down and he got to the line, but we can't give a try. I'm just glad you're not on the field to pat anyone on the head. <laughs> yeah, we tackle one, mate. Tackle one, Dan will play it over here. So yeah, yeah. that's a bit, well, bit of luck for Manly. If you're over the line, the ball's yeah. down. You've got to say you're going to turn Wait. your decision around. Wait. You're going to be 100%. She sounded pretty confident. But remember, it was played at the kick before all that happened. So the Dragons, it's cold comfort, but they get another chance. Now it goes here to the Bella. And it comes down to Frank Molo. Dragons with two tackles left. Haven't fired a shot in this set. And Hunt wrapped up. Tidy tackle to Alungi. Last. Amone forcing a kick. And batted back by Fiona. Burns. Oh, wrapped up. Manly survive. Well, Manly's touched the ball, haven't they? Well, they've got a challenge, they're going to use it. Thanks. We have a captain's challenge. Yonford ruling his last tackle. They believe that Manly touches the ball. Good defence from Manly. We want to just see if, uh, if this challenge is upheld. Crowd getting a little rambunctious. So that's Saab coming through 
Fianne. So I'm trying to see if the right hand of Jason Saab touches the ball. Well, Casey certainly, they're making a run of money tonight. Oh, you probably think, is there a fingertip there? But Come off his thumb, has it? Fianne obviously has batted it back, but well, let's just see. If... Oh, dear, that's, that's a toughie. <laughs> Good luck. This might be another all available angles situation. Still looking at the right hand of Jason Saab. The thumb bends backwards, yeah, indicating got that it. he's touched Okay, the ball. so one goes the Dragons' way. And the ball has been knocked on. I the think, challenge is successful. I think they have 4K there at Everly now. I think they've, they've you know, these beautiful Fox pictures to get that in crystal clear detail. They used to come with decisions when they didn't have all those camera angles. New set. Molo towards the uprights. Ramon getting it on the hunt. Out it comes Lomax. Oh, he almost got inside Parker. Schuster there and Tuolangi with the finish. Hunt. For the Bella. And that was almost simultaneous there with the uh, tackle, Jerry Evans. And on the front row, of Frank Molo. Amon getting it on. They've got numbers here, but Suli can't force his way through. Saab stands his ground. Two tackles left. Nearly resolute here, the Bella. Getting it on to Michael Molo. And they swallow that up, the Seagulls, with one play left. It'll be huge for them if they can survive this play and get it back up. Little grubber, little ricochet, and oh, Croker's dragged into the in goal, and that is a correct penalty. That's an obvious one. The moment he's touched, the play is dead, and just, they couldn't help themselves, the Dragons, yeah, and just, you can understand the frustration. Yeah, and the frustration of not having all that ball 20 metres out, all the football in the 20 metre, and can't get away with points. I don't know if it's great defence from Manly. They've done what they had to, but I think the attack is a little bit ordinary here from the Saints. Big night coming up at Penrith. Panthers very much uh, on track for another minor premiership. They're flying at the moment, and uh, the Sharks need to turn things around. Matt Lodge, big first stint from him, coming back on here for his uh, second outing in, in Wynn Stadium. Jabrovic providing for Cherry Evans. And again, he's done it. He's found Saab and put him into open space. Saab takes on Sloan, takes him all the way, and Jason Saab scores. It's deadly from the Seagulls. They absorb wave after wave of pressure and they go the length of the field to score another long range try. Yeah, you talked about the long range try. I just love the way Sarth backed himself here. He's got no room to work in. They got caught in field again. Fianne just can't match it with the pace. Sloan, he takes him on. And the poor old back row again gets a little bit there, a little bit late in Burns. And look at the speed of this guy's. Great motion. Sloan can't make the tackle. He takes him on. Saab scores the try again for Manly. This is the 15th try they've scored this year from beyond halfway. That's around the mark of Brisbane. Newcastle's getting up there as well. That's why I want to see a match race between all these speedsters in the NRL. I'll tell you what, I reckon this play could be hard to beat over 100. Yeah, I think, I think most of the players agree with that, actually, that Saab is always just holding something back, and if he really unleashed, he'd be unstoppable. So 22 to 8. This is getting away from the Dragons quickly. And you know Manly will have what happened last week at the front of their mind and to make sure they don't let that happen again. And they let 30 to nil become 30 to 26. Garrick. He could have had a second try. And he's uh, starting to pile up the points. And that one... No! Hits the woodwork. So four tries to one, Manly. 
have scored the last 22 points. And Jason Saab gets, gets a try. So tries to Olukawatu, Kola and Garrick and now Saab. And of course it is women in league round. And uh, we celebrate how far women have come in the game while recognising that the job far from done, that's for sure. There's more to do to create equal opportunity and to, to keep building pathways for women. NRL.com slash women in league to read more. So Manly here with two tries in this second half. Things really tightening up in the race for the eight. And Schuster goes to ground. About a week ago at Seymour we down to nine. And it might have been Parramatta and South fighting for one spot, but you know, we've got to throw certainly Newcastle back into the mix. And Manly are hanging around. It's going to be a furious finish to this uh, regular season, it would seem here. As Won't it be great if we go down for the top eight of the last game? Oh, yeah. I think we might, you know. So that last round, there's some bumper games coming up, but a bit of football to come before then. It will be appropriate if in game 300, Cherry Evans hit the 40-20, and uh, it was never going to happen there, but some some heavy work there to a lungy rolling away from the tackle. There is that live ladder, so look at the congestion. It's been that way all year. Cronulla, uh, they've got their work cut out tonight. Canberra's for and against means that they, they're not out, out, of, uh, out of the woods just yet either. Newcastle, miles ahead of Manly in terms of for and against. So Manly's just got to keep winning. And now here's a chance. Ben Hunt, best moment of the game for him so far as he takes on Garrick. Tackle made with two remaining. Sloan to a lungy almost. He almost <laughs> couldn't help himself. Oh, a little chip kick for himself here from Lomax. That, that is a wonderful play from Zach Lomax to get a line drop out. Gee, I don't know whether they got the six again there. Oh, if it is, be a it come off there for down. Zach Lomax, a little chip over the top. Garrick was caught at marker, a couple of tackles there. Here's the break there by Hunt. Just straight through Schuster. And look at that cover tackle there. And as I said, Garrick was caught at marker. No fullback at home. Lomax backs himself. Parker cleans up. He's forced into the in-gold area. So they've stacked this left side here. But it goes long with the kick, Cherry Evans. Oh, back there, defence. I suppose it hasn't been breached now for 50 minutes. They'll continue to uh, put faith in, in their defence with uh, Blake Lorry carrying it forward. Aaron Woods in the game. It's been a year at the Dragons. 22 games or 19 games in 2022. Little turning it in for the Bellin. 20 metre line. The Dragons are going to make a game of this. They need to get a little move on with Hunt now. Into a dead end. So comes back. Dumming and line ball are there for Couchman. Here Evans, the tackler yet again. Little. DeBellin off Manly. Could be a problem. Amon. Oh, great tackle, Jake Draboyevich. And it was certainly played. That's how a new set begins. Hunt rolls a kick on tackle one. The chasers come through and it's a try. It's Billy Burns. And a big gamble by Ben Hunt and it pays off big time. We still have a contest. Yeah, well, they've had to score off a kick, haven't they? Manly's defence has been outstanding. A little grubber kick early in the tackle count. The wingers are up. Hunt sees the fullback out of position here. A little grubber kick in for Burns. Burns does well to get there. Saab had to turn around and chase. Burns on the run. And finally, in the second half, the Saints have opened their scoring. Obviously, time nowhere near being an issue. 22 minutes to go. And Billy Burns hasn't seen much first grade the last couple of years. Making a good fist of it tonight. Strong early. 
and his first try this year was came from the Penrith Club. Well, that gives them a little bit of life. First try since the seventh minute. Yeah, and it's amazing the little bit of lift you get after you score points. We see it all the time, team scoring and then lifting. And convert this one. It'll be 22-14. It's a tough, tough kick. They've given themselves a chance now, the Saints, on their home ground. The crowd will get behind them now. See what role confidence plays. Yeah, you see those stats. This has been a nightmare for him, but he's playing wonderful football. Will that translate into his goal kicking, Zach Lomax? That's a good strike. So eight points the margin with 21 minutes to play. It's amazing, isn't it, Block? You see goal kickers, when they're playing well, they kick well. Yeah, that's right, 100%. Confidence. You see the spring in their step, too, when they're lining up for the kick. You ever kick one in the, in the New uh, South Rugby League? No, never. You know what, too? It'll be last game. I never got a kick. That's a disgrace. The Meiji buggers wouldn't give me a kick. That is a eh? disgrace. Isn't it? They know. But I got they know one. the legacy you left. But I got one on my big mate Buddy Searin. He had a kick in front in the wet in his last game. Missed. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. I'm sure. I'm sure it's, uh, what's that, nearly 30 years ago. I reckon he might have been reminded once or twice. <laughs> All right, so Ravalawa bringing it back. And it's woken up the crowd here at Wynn Stadium. Oh, little sprightly out of dummy half. Hunt again through the row. This is the lorry. This is only tackle three. Excellent start to this set. Well, Terry Evans rushes up. Sloan now to the try score Burns. Footwork, but can't get past Cola or Olakawatu. Another dummy half run. And Sloan over the 30. That's a textbook set from the Dragons after points. Ramon to the Bellin. Hunt doesn't kick. Russell dummies. Parker. Huge tackle. Garrick was waiting. He had to pass the ball on the outside there, Russell. A little bit of inexperience. Only a couple of games in the NRL. Takes the tackle. Parker rarely misses. Well, there's the formula for the Saints. They're quicker men in the dummy half. Try and tire out the middle of the Manly side. They just marched up field. They went 70 metres in that set. Now Woods should be pretty fresh. But worrying signs there with uh, the meat has been yielded. Matt Lodge. We've used a fair bit of energy with his first stint. Manly have had just 10 tackles inside the Dragons 20. And yet here they are with a, a little buffer. Cola. The profit on that side. Not, not here though. Cola needs to get the ground and he does. Strong is he to stay in field? Only a little fella. It's three in the tackle there from the Saints. Alcoatu. Manly just shy of halfway. Jerry Evans almost kicks that into Molo. We've already had a Falcon today. Tyrell Sloan working it back. By the way, Zach Lomax, 17 runs, 161 metres. The switch has been turned on with Zach Lomax. 29 runs last game, 23 the week before, and all with purpose. Laurie. Oh, a mole there. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Here's the offload to Little. Well, that was jujitsu, wasn't it? Just throwing it. That was UFC stuff. Not particularly dangerous, but certainly got uh, the Dragons attention. Here's the high ball put up from Hunt. Contest. Oh, Lomax there. Was he taken out? Yes, he was. Chris Butler was looking directly at it. Well, Manly, now. It's just starting to go a little awry. If you change direction, when everyone's going for the football, you're going to give away a penalty there. Play, Jacob. So they've got some field position. They're good enough. They can get themselves right back in it here, the Saints. Well, you've got to think, if they get another one here, the Dragons, Manly now last week really is at the forefront in their minds. 
Uh, Laurie, strong tackle down low from Lodge. And up top there, Olakawatu. Here's a moon for Hunt. Oh, that one is taken by Kola. He's done very well to hold on. Tua Pilotu, my apologies. Tua Pilotu there hauling that in. A loose ball off a, a loose pass. He knocked that ball down then, Tua Pilotu. Well, doing his best to try and get him right back in the game, isn't he, Hunt? Trying everything. He's certainly gone up a cog in the second period. Still 17 minutes to go. And a hobble there. Looking up to halfway. Oh, there's there is an error. The likes we haven't seen really this afternoon. Yeah, and there lies the problem for Schuster. We we're wrapping him, and rightly so, a little bit earlier. Just trying to do the something with the ball before he actually catches it. So he's thinking. There's Tua Pilotu there, I'm sure, being treated by uh, the trainer. And he came out of a tackle and has, has been limping. And uh, been hobbled by that, so a little concern there. No, uh, the place pause, by the way. We're all waiting for this to, to come to a conclusion. But doesn't seem in any real uh, pain or any distress. So it looks like he'll continue. Huge advantage here for the Manly side. He sees he's on the uh, big screen. He knows the fans are booing him or more, more over the referee. So we got to wait here. have to go off No. Yeah. I think even Chris Butler yep. feels a little sympathy for the Dragons here. But. Jack! Jack! Oh, what's happened here? Ben. What's happened here? There's a tackle in that set. It's a hit drop on Tolu. It's a hit drop, so you're going to be on report and you're going to go to the bin. Wow! Okay, a a total game, game changer! In the previous set. A so total game changer! But, but, yeah. I'm walking back, tell me where, 25. We'll wait and see a replay here, but that's an enormous moment in this game. That's taken all the momentum off the Saints. <laughs> Gee, I don't know whether he's right around the back. So it's to a Pilotu, so... I don't know, grab, twist, drop, that's, that's the motto. So that... Uh, That, that's huge. And, and they've been torched this year, the Dragons, when they've had a player in the bin. They've conceded 32 points in, in the 40 minutes of sin bin time. There he goes. He's, he'd held it together pretty well, Ryan Carr. Uh, I think that one just tipped him over the edge. And I reckon the Dan Russell no try was... Uh, that, that just got things bubbling. Went from simmer to high heat. And that one's just taking him over the top. Now that... The pot is boiling. Manly. I think the thing in what have started was the early try. The Manly side in the second half. To start the second half. Off. Down the man now. Here it comes now for Schuster. Threatening the throw to Lodge. Lodge entangled there. So Schuster takes it himself. One tackle left. Manly have been patient here. Pretty standard set, even with the one-man advantage. Tulangi is going to do all well to get rid of it. Well, the ball came out, but the Dragons hold on. Gee, you got to ask where Cherry Evans was in that last tackle. He's not the man you want the hands on the football. Tulangi turns over. Oh, strip. That's Dan Russell with a great play. That angle there showing that clearly. Too long he may have been asking if there was more than one in the tackle. Zane Musgrove. Isn't that much first grade uh, time this year? Gets up a little gingerly there. Hunt away for Armone. 
And it goes to Burns. Dragons looking pretty good here, even with a man in the bin. Problem is, though, by the time De Bellin comes back on, there's not going to be much time left. Here's the... Oh, great pass from Lomax. Just the fact he got rid of it. Now, Sloan, not much room to work with. The chip kick needed needed a tricky bounce, but it sat up nicely for Garrick. He's done a great job. No Tom Dvojevic at the back there. Garrick moved from the wing to fullback. Positionally, been outstanding, hasn't he? Right on the spot that time. Put his body on the line. Some hands on knees here for Manly. As we watch a replay from another angle of Garrett coming forward. He limped out of the tackle too. He played the ball. Now it's a pass out to Parker. With Ravalawa putting a fair bit into that. And Parker gets up slowly. Schuster kicking the belly. Bit of wobble on this. Sloan, not comfortable, but does the job. So that little chip you see above the Dragons on the graphic there. Jack DeBellin in the bin for a hip drop. We'll uh, have another look at it shortly when there's a break in play. As Matt Fiennay works it up. There's a Musgrove powering to his 40. Little for Hunt. Hunt for Armand. The floater now. Burns sweeps it across. Fiennay down the wing. Kohler comes across and makes the tackle. Again, expansive work from the Dragons with 12 to work with. Armand and now put some distance on this. Parker dropping back. Did he get a foot? Did he get a foot into the end goal? It doesn't look like he has. Magnificent chase here by Lomax again. And Parker still on the ground. He's been in the wars, but that's a wonderful play. He tried to time himself to have one foot in the field of play and one in the dead ball line or in the end goal area. Lomax, maybe he had a foot up as he caught the ball. Well, you can't say they're not having a red-hot go. Oh, yeah, that's a correct call. Didn't get it back there in time. And Lomax all over him. Now that almost clean bowls Lomax. Lomax's little touch might have actually been quite effective there. To keep it. Oh, there's Lodge putting it, putting his shoulder in the block of Laurie. Musgrove. Couchman. Dragons. With Hunt to Musgrove. Six more tackles. Comes to Hunt. Hamoun on tackle zero. Almost gets underneath to a lungy. Hunt skipping, Sloan turning, and Couchman straightening. Dragons look more threatening even with the man down, as we've been saying. Little now, spinning and going close. Oh, just held down, six more tackles. Meters. Hunt, look, comes from Laurie. Oh, what a pick up from Sloan. Dragons are in. The Dragons are coming home. And Manly now, Manly, even with the extra man, are starting to look tired. Well, you tell you, you can, you can take it on Jacob Little, just a sprint out of dummy half. Lodge was left on the ground. The next play, Laurie, we've seen it a couple of times in this game. Tyrell Sloan, silky hands, look at that for a pickup. Off his boots, scores the try there for the Saints. And Manly looking very tight in the middle of the ruck. And that is just silky skills. Have a look at the try celebration. I wish I knew that one. That I don't one. know what that one is either. Stretching the hemi or something? I don't know. I was, I was very impressed with Mick Ennis. He picked the Street Fighter one last night. The Hadouken of uh, 
Jerome Hughes. I'm sure we'll find out in good time what Tyrell Sloan was doing there. But more importantly, we've got a serious contest here. Did you pick the John Cena one last week? You can't see me. I love the wrestling ones. You like that one? I love the wrestling ones. We've seen the Batista guns. We've seen the Rock. We've seen a few of them. So, so Zach Lomax has been he's been kicking beautifully but that one that one goes astray four tries to three 22 points to 18 now we haven't had a chance but let's have a look at this jack de bellon tackle once again as most of his sin bin time has expired and it's worked out well not by design obviously but they've closed this gap so it's weight on the bottom of the legs. Now, you be the judge at home if that's penalty worthy or sin bin worthy, but that's that's the call. Yeah, I think, look, I, I can understand why they did get rid of him there. He was beaten in the tackle, but then slowed around the back and lands on the ankle. So I think it was half a, half a one. Mm. Yeah, it's the weight on the back of the legs which did him in. That's what gets it, yeah. Darcy McDonald, what can you tell us about Christian Tuopolotto? Unfortunate news for Christian Tuipolotu. It's a suspected MCL injury. Ooh. He's come off. He will go for scans, but obviously his night is over. Well, geez, the way, thank you, Darcy. The way he was being strapped up, it looked like they were trying to keep him in the game. But, uh, okay, that's that's really unfortunate. So, his night over. And... Gee, the momentum's all with the Saints at the moment. Hopefully he's back soon to a Pilotta, but with only a few weeks left in the season, might be up against it. Now here's Sloan. Look at the Dragons. Scything their way over halfway. Manly here look like a team on the ropes. Musgrove. Strong tackle that from Toff Sipley. Last play. Huh? Lomax coming through. Got a little bump on the way through, but that was just subtle enough. And Manly get it back. Yeah, Kohler playing on the left wing now for the Manly side. Not the tallest of players. Gee, did well. They were under the pump there. That was a great take under pressure. And again, you see so many hands on hips, but Cherry Evans giving the ball some air. Garrett feeding it on. And this is Dean Matteson, third game of first grade. Usually a 5'8 or a lock. Certainly that was his New South Wales Cup uh, pedigree, but getting uh, some ball there out wide. There's Jake Jaboyevich on for Schuster. Parker gives it to Kohler. Kohler's away! Kohler in the clear! Kohler goes himself! Oh, and then he lost it. He had the patience not to throw the ball, but he puts it down. And that keeps the Dragons in this. He had to make that tackle there, Sloan. It was a grabbing tackle with two hands. Bit of sledging going on between the players now. They're firing up. So if the Dragons hold on to it, DeBellin will be back for the next defensive set. And more than enough time to get one more try. It was 22 to 8. It's now a one-score game. Laurie over halfway. Riddle to Amon. Stabs a kick. Oh, that's taken out Chris Butler. That is a fortunate situation. But now, because it was over halfway, when it's, a, it's Dragon's ball. See, I'll tell you what, that was a clever play there. Gutsy play from the Saints. No fullback at home. Where was Ruben Garrick? They saw that there was no one at home. The grubber kick in behind. Wooshka. So the Dragons here. Gee, that's a gutsy play. That's the game a replay play. play, play and, and so it's not a new set. But it's Dragons ball. That's the most important thing. And it comes here to Musgrove. Two tackles left. Now it comes to Hunt, putting it up before the last. Garrick is up there. Oh, too good, Ruben Garrick. Now backing back, getting away from Lomax. Oh, thought about a pass. That would have been heart and mouth stuff for you Manly fans. But Manly 
now with Garrick. And he got caught high there. It'll be a penalty. Getting a penalty here. Couchman. Toby Couchman. That's a huge fill-up for Manly. He stayed down too. I reckon the touch he might have given him the call here. And there's a swing and arm over the top. I think you might find it was uh, Armone. Armone. Yeah. yeah, so... DeBellin is back, 13 on 13. We'll have to do some defending. So this game going the distance. Penrith Cronulla coming up shortly. For this one, this, this might go beyond 80 minutes. Apparently here, have to hold their nerve. Oh, there's some furious Dragons defence. And Musgrove. Maybe a little attitude there given. Madison thought that was worthy of six more. And Jake Trebojevic just ambling to the 40-metre line. Croker. And it goes to Sipley. That's a better run there from Sipley. The back end of the heart of the set. And now Bullimore. Bullimore, he got through Russell and gets to the 30-metre line. Jerry Evans... Aiming for Ravalawa, Parker coming through. It's been a great battle with those high kicks, Parker and Lomax, as they, whatever end the, of the ball, whatever end of the field the ball's at, trying to body each other out of the way. But the Dragons have got it back. They're at the wrong end, though. They've already had a last-minute win this year. Remember at Cogra, Ryan Carr's first against the Roosters. Michael Molo pounding it upfield. And as Blake Laurie comes off, Hunt and Sloan keeps it. Sizes it up and takes the tackle. This will signal the last once he plays it. Hunt, they hang off him. A moan, chip kick, Fine coming through. Oh, he almost, almost had a chance to bat it back in. Yeah, I think that, that was in his mind too, the bounce of the ball there. Just trying to flick that ball back with his left hand. Oh, man, it was a beautiful kick, wasn't it? Look at the bounce here. And, and Jason Saab put himself in the right spot. He's right on the, right on there. Well, it's been some sort of game the last 20 minutes. But you've got to say, right from the start, there's been a real energy about this contest. 15th versus 11th, but we've got a Manly side desperate, and the Dragons really have put in. Oh, to a lungy there, had a wince on his face. That news to Christian Tuopolotu with the knee injury. Gee, Bullymore's been good off the bench. Yeah, I reckon he's had a... What, how many carries has he had so far? It's been unbelievable. Yeah, that's his 11th, I believe, and he hasn't been on that long. That's a deep kick. It's a deep kick, and Sloan knows he has to keep it in. Ooh. And that's a wonderful manly chase. So I'll tell you what, you've got to run back with a little bit more enthusiasm than that, otherwise you'll get minced. Digging deep, deep though, the Sea Eagles. Hunt, dummy. Oh, he almost got through. Keeps it alive, Musgrove. You're out of play. Penalty Manly. Penalty Manly. You're out of play. You take possession of the ball. And again, a player pinged for starting in front of the play and getting involved. Now Manly have a look at Lock can take a that. shot at goal and make this a six-point game if that's what they desire. He's defended his backside off, hasn't he, Lachlan Croker? You see him down on his haunches. Can't believe they got that penalty in his hundredth game. All the talk's been about Cherry Evans, but... What a milestone, too, for Croker in his 100th. Looks like they're going to get the win here. It was uh, DeBellin having a terse conversation here. And now a gift for Garrick. So the Dragons here will have to put all their chips in the middle on a short restart. Frustrating second half for Jack DeBellin. Now he's got to worry if um, the match review is going to come down hard on him for that... That hip drop. Sorry, mate. You still got that in you? <laughs> so time ticking away here. This is no problem for Manly. 
Well, they'd be quite happy for Chris Butler to keep changing the mark. So Manly, unless there is a miracle, going to get two in a row and keep their hopes alive. Realistically, they had to win tonight. And they're going to have to win maybe four of their last five. Some very winnable games there, but a couple of real toughies. But tonight is all about just staying alive and they're just about there. Call cool time off too. A lot of time went though. So Garrick to make it a six point contest. It is through and the game effectively comes down to this, this one kickoff. And they might have a nice fun drive back up the M6. The F6, it's the M1 these days. I'm sure he's got some family and friends here. Reuben Garrick. Here we go. And oh, drop. It's a game. It's still alive. It's Burns. 29 away. Dragons have 40 seconds to take it to Golden Point. Hunt has the ability to kick from, from spots like that, but just happy to dump it off. 30 seconds left. Dragons have been gutsy. Michael Molo just outside the 10. Manly have to defend to the bitter end. It's Little. Away to the Bellin. Away to Hunt. Here's our man. The cutout. Ravalawa. Gone. Cola puts him in the touch. And that wins the game for Manly. They've had to go the distance, but they've hung on. And Tolu Cola with a huge tackle to barrel for Kaylee Ravalawa. Manly stay alive. 2023 Dragons brave but it's Manly's night full time 24 to 18